Hello, my name is Louis. I'm interested in animation, design, art direction, and the digital world between reality and fiction. After receiving the brief, my first question was, what is sound? I began Googling and I found out that sound files, just like everything else on a computer, are basically a series of zeros and ones. In a sound file, these zeros and ones are called bytes and there are millions of them. They basically plot points on an axis and draw a waveform using loads of tiny straight lines. So now that I kind of understand what a sound file is, my next question was, how can I use these sound files to create something? I knew that I wanted to make something procedural so that the sound could have a direct effect on the visuals. My first investigations took me to basic audio visualizations. They are nice, but we've all seen them, and they just feel a bit unrepresentative of the true experience of sound. I stumbled across this video entitled Blue Oyster Mushroom Singing, in which a man attaches wires from a mushroom to an audio synthesizer, and somehow music comes out. Is a mushroom just a series of zeros and ones? And is there sound inside the mushroom? It turns out, unfortunately, there isn't music in mushrooms, but they do communicate using electrical impulses, and these can be used to create zeros and ones, which can then be turned into sounds. I began thinking about all of the different things that I want to hear. What does a human thought sound like? What does touch sound like? What does fish and chips sound like? The list is endless, and so are the possibilities. So now I'm having loads of ideas, but now I've got too many ideas. How can I relate this to my project? I went down a deep and dark fungi slash sound related rabbit hole, and I stumbled across this clip. That clip was taken from a documentary called How Fungi Changed My View of the World. It's just a time lapse of a mold growing that the guy who made the documentary has filmed and it's just played along with the soundtrack. And I just thought that looks really cool. The way the mushroom grows and the sound, they work really well together. After researching fungi a bit more, I realized that fungi come in many different shapes, sizes and colors. And there's so many different variations. Um, we might have preconceptions about what a fungi or mushroom are. But in reality, most of the fungi and mushrooms that exist on Earth, we wouldn't even recognise. They look completely alien. I then arrived at my final question. What would the song Where's My Mind by Pixie's piano arrangement by Maxent Siren look like if it was expressed by a time lapse of the growth of a fungal structure? Now that I have my question, I need to begin answering it. I began to research the best way of creating something like this, and I found out that Houdini would probably be my best what? bet. However, I've never used Houdini before. I have always wanted to get into Houdini. This was the perfect opportunity to do so. So my first approach was to procedurally model something that looks like a mushroom. My thinking was I'll just play around with Houdini, see what I can make, see where it goes. Uh, these are some of my experiments. It was a good way to dip my toes into Houdini and just proceduralism in general. I was trying to combine particles, cloth simulations, volumes and procedural modeling. There were just too many things going on all at once. I needed something more robust that didn't need as much attention and was way more generative in nature. After searching around on the internet a bit more, there were a few phrases that kept popping up. Procedural growth, differential growth and recursive growth. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, read a bunch of articles and just spent a long time gathering resources and learning about procedural growth and how to achieve this using Houdini. Now I needed to find a way of using sound files to influence the growth of these structures. In the end, I discovered this thing called CHOPS, which is used in Houdini to uh, analyze and manipulate audio files and animation curves. So now the output from a CHOP channel is controlling the growth of the structures. I'm gonna stop talking now. This is Where Is My Mind by Pixie's Maxent Siren Piano Arrangement Expressed by a Time Lapse of the Growth of a Fungal Structure or Fungi Tunes.
So just some final thoughts. I think that this idea works well as a visual representation of sound and music in particular, because when we listen to a song, we're in the moment and we experience the song as time goes by. And when you watch the this animation, it's almost like watching a audio visualizer, except it keeps expanding and growing. You get to look at the final model at the end and just think like this is the song in its entirety. And that's quite an unusual way to experience music. At the moment, the system I'm using is quite unstable, uh, but it's a good combination between generative and kind of art directed as well. Um, I would like to be able to play an entire song, so I'm only able to do about a thousand frames, at which point the model gets to like 30 million points. I'd like something where you can just plug in any song and get a completely different outcome every single time. That was Fungi Tunes. Thank you very much for watching. I really enjoyed working on this project. I learned a lot. It was quite challenging. It's really opened my eyes up to proceduralism and Houdini. I really like the work you do at Future Deluxe, exactly the kind of stuff that I'm interested in. I'm currently looking for internships starting in September. This is a link to my website, which contains my showreel, my portfolio, my CV. Thanks again. Goodbye. This is one of the fun side journeys I've been on as I've explored the kingdom of fungi.